Okay, so Luke, <laughs> tender part for the tournament. Yeah, not too bad. Well, um, last couple of rounds I haven't played too well, so kind of went in today just thinking let's just go out there and just kind of go after everything and try to make everything. And first whole day made a twenty footer, so I knew something was going to happen. And then um, kind of got off really hot. I mean, made three birdies in a row in the first three. Uh, then made an eagle in fourteen, so I was five hundred through five, and I knew something good was going to happen because I mean. Just kind of that kind of start. I knew someone was going to keep pushing through and, you know, came off 30 on the front. And, uh, I mean, going to that back nine or front nine, technically, it was a little bit easier or something. And might do something, then it got a little windier and a little more challenging. And we made a really couple of good birdies. And, you know, a big birdie in the last two holes, issue 62 is it's always nice. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, a hammer to drive down there and had uh, like, 195 I think and hit probably the best seven iron of my life and it almost went in and went to about a foot so I was like well that's a good way to make eagle and then uh tap in and I went 500 through five and I was like wow it's pretty good on uh Friday night you had a good day too yeah 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 um, well, when I was walking into seven, right, and <clears throat> I kind of knew it was, it was kind of a tough number for me, and uh, with kind of how the wind was and everything, and didn't want to go right, so I just kind of kind of threw it out left, and I thought it was a right, and then it just kind of got up in the wind, and I'm like, oh, get over the water, and it got over, but hit it to like four feet for par, and then just missed it, you know, wasn't really too mad, wasn't too frustrated, because I knew I was, had two easy holes coming in, so I knew I could kind of finish up strong, so it wasn't too bad for me. So you went from 40th for the round of 4th right yeah. now. Yeah. Talk about how you feel about that and this, this weekend. Well, I, I kind of knew at the beginning of the week, like, I've been playing well, and I knew it was going to come out one day. And um, first two days, I just kind of struggled in the greens. I mean, I hit the ball amazing, and I knew if I kind of got the putter hot and got it rolling, and I knew I'd play well. So coming from 40th to 4th is, you know, it's <laughs> It is a little insane to think like that, but especially with this field. I mean, this field's the best in the country, too, so people playing in this, I mean, you, to go from 40th to 4th is just kind of insane to me. We talked about this the other day. Obviously, this is one of the first big weekends of the summer. Mm -hmm. you know, how do you feel about it? Is it great or not? Is it tough? Uh, um, to be honest with you, I got a lot of things to work on. I mean, I, I, didn't, I didn't go exactly how I won this week. Um, you know, shooting 62 is great. I love it. But I still have a lot of things to work on. So when I get back, I'm definitely going to be training really hard, just trying to figure out a few things here and there. And, you know, it wasn't, wasn't exactly what I wanted this week, but, you know, it turned out all right, but it wasn't exactly what I wanted. So I'm going to get back and kind of go through everything again and work harder than I did before. Um, we talked a little bit about your goals for the summer. How does this finish set you up there for a big picture outside of just, you know, the individual things in your game? You know, I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, I'm, I'm, again, I'm just super happy with the 62, but um, there's just so many things I need to work on, with, especially with mind and mental wise. I mean, kind of need to get better to better start <laughs> than rather than coming for you the first two days. So, you know, it's good to have that one good round and, and come in fourth or hopefully top five, but you know, there's just so many things I need to work on. And now I know it. Um, I'm excited to go to the next couple of tournaments because, you know, coming off this round's great. Um, just need to get the putter rolling a little bit more. That's about it. Can you reflect on this weekend at Stream Song and just the overall, like, experience with TaylorMade and the team TaylorMade Invitational? I mean, <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Um, everything here is just, they treat you so well here. I mean, every single tournament, really. But Stream Song in general is just a great golf course to play. I mean... I'm thankful to play here, 100% blessed. I mean, first off, just like to thank Jesus Christ because, I mean, he's guided me through everything these past couple of months. Um, you know, I've, it's been big for me these last couple of months, but especially with Grits is helping me out through that. And I have such a great team behind me now. And I mean, there's so many people I could say right now that have been helping me through this. And it's been great. I mean, I just, you know, I, the people here are amazing and I can't thank anyone enough for everything they did this week. So it's been, it's been awesome. We talked about this the other day, but just since you had such a great round today, um, you yeah, know, the tour truck is here, um, you know, big, big 
coming out weekend for the first, you know, Taylor yeah. Boys Invitational. Just talk about that and how you guys feel about playing on this stage. I mean, <clears throat> every week out here, I mean, every time we play an Invitational, it's always the best of the best. Um, and I know that. So if you, you can't come out here at the C-minus game and, and win. I mean, it's just not how it is. You have to come out here and play the best you can. Um, you know, there's a lot of great players here. And it, some didn't play well and some did. But, you know, I, every week is a different winner sometimes. You know, I mean, it, it's just crazy to think, like, these are the top players in the world. And, um, you know, I'm excited with the finish I had. And I'm, and I'm ready to go on for the next couple weeks. Cool. Um, the last thing we need is we can just look at the camera. Okay. We're going to have you do just a thank you to Corey and Eddie and Ryan for yeah. feeling made, supporting the weekend, and just what that means to you. Yeah. Please. Um, thank you, Corey. Oh, just tell me when. You're good. All right. Thank you, Corey, Ryan, everyone from the TaylorMade staff. Uh, it was an absolute blessing this week for you to bring the truck and really uh, give us the experience that the pros do. Thank you so much.